Space Coast Daily on location at Port Canaveral. You are looking at uh, commission, Port Commission candidate Mac McLeod, who's running for the port. And behind Mac is the uh, 401 Barge Canal Bridge. It's a drawbridge that uh, goes, you know, from the uh, off of 528. It goes kind of north and leads to the Disney Terminal and the north side of the port. Mac, what is your what is your concern about this bridge, and what do we need to do at the port to uh, to make sure we don't get into trouble? Well, this bridge uh, is is a vital link to the north side of the port. In particular, we not we ha it's first off it's the entrance to the space center on the south, and and the second and even more important is that we have all of our petroleum tanks on the north side. If if this bridge goes down, say during a hurricane with a surge, and and it can very well do that, uh, that it would be a super problem because we wouldn't have any gas for Central Florida and, and so forth. So this is a is a big deal and the Commission recognizes this and they're they're actively pursuing it. The problem is it's very expensive, it's a multi-million dollar operation and so we're going to have to seek funding from the federal and the state government to get this thing done and we need a, we need a high-rise bridge over here uh, to get this and make sure that a surge it's, uh, it's protected from the surge damage. Uh, in doing so, uh, you know, we need to be, we need to call on our friends in Central Florida, our, our political friends in, uh, in Central Florida and certainly throughout Bar Brevard County, uh, the DOT, District 5 D DOT, they're all very important. So I'm, I'm with the, uh, the commission and, the, uh, and the, the authority is as this is a very high priority uh, for the port uh, in the future and is most important to Central Florida. Right, so once again folks, we are, uh, I'm looking, uh, you're looking east there through the uh, channel. As you can see, that's the, that's the uh, port channel, goes out towards the ocean. And if I spin around past Mac McLeod, there's the drawbridge on 401, and there's the Canaveral lock gates that take you out into the uh, Banana River and towards the Barge Canal. Gives you the bearings on this bridge. You'll hear the, the cars going over it every now and again. That's the noise you're hearing. So that bridge there, it's a drawbridge. It goes up and down when big uh, boats need to come through, delays traffic. It's a problem. And so, Mac, you're suggesting that this new project would do away with this bridge and make it much higher so it actually would not be a drawbridge. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, so how old is this bridge and what's a little bit of history behind it? Well, it was built, uh, the bridge was built the same time the lock was built because obviously if you're going to use the lock you got to have a, a straight water through here so they were building the bridge while they kept kept the road the original road open to uh, port uh, or to the north side so uh, when they completed the lock and they completed this bridge then they opened and closed that and, and dry, dug the channel all the way through and uh, at that point we had a uh, water access to the banana uh, and indian rivers uh, through okay. the uh, Sure. The barge canal. You can see uh, people love to fish here. There's uh, a young family that's pulled up here. They're getting ready to, to uh, do some, some fishing here. It's a very popular spot. That's the drawbridge, folks. And of course, you know, I've been there several times in traffic while that drawbridge goes up and down. So, so if this project goes through, we're going to hopefully see a much higher bridge that would not be impacted by potential storm surge. So we wouldn't get cut off from the north side of the port. People wouldn't have to wait in traffic. Of course, it costs a tremendous amount of money to build a bridge like this, doesn't it, Mac? It does, uh, but um, I, I'm with the Port Authority on this, and I intend to use the contacts that I have in the last 50 years, uh, the political contacts, to try to help and make sure that this bridge gets replaced with a high rise. Now, Mac, uh, you know, obviously this is going to cost tens of millions of dollars to do this, this bridge change, to raise it up, uh, like we just talked about. You know, you've, you've got a lot of friends and contacts you've developed over the years of uh, being a port commissioner and CEO of the port. Tell us how, if, you, if you're chosen by the voters, how you will move this project along. Well, the contacts I've made over the last 50 years in the Republican Party, and uh, as a Republican uh, uh, commission, we got a Republican governor. Uh, we need all of those people. I'm, I'm familiar and, and know them, most of them personally. And I think that's what we have to do. And I'm, I'm prepared to hit the ground running, uh, trying to help the port achieve uh, this goal of replacing that bridge. Sure. So the port has made application to the federal government. Now it's just a matter of moving those great wheels of progress in our direction so we can get this project done here in Brevard. Is that an accurate statement? That is accurate. They have been 
gung-ho in trying to get that bridge replaced and they need help and I intend to help them.